I'm way out in East Texas, and this morning, early, I'm gonna do the Martin Dyes Junior State Park Walnut Ridge Unit. I'm camped over at the Hen House Unit on the other side of the State Highway 190. So, two videos for Martin Dyes Junior State Park. So, hey, I got the scooter, I got the GoPro, and I got you. So, let's go take a look. Cue the music. Let's ride. This is truly a beautiful Texas State Park. Martin Dyes Jr. State Park was originally going to be developed as a Corps of Engineer, actually two Corps of Engineer parks, and then Texas Parks and Wildlife took it over and made it one big park. There's 13 miles of paved road in Martin Dyes Junior State Park. And I gotta tell you, that's 13 miles of rough road. Now the, the main roads, they're not so bad. You get into the camping loops, they're rough. Such a beautiful park. If you are a kayaker, you need to come visit this park. Now the park staff informed me that coming into June is when their slow season starts. Believe it or not, they're actually slow, slower in the summer than any other time of the year. Well, that's good news if you want to go RV camp in the summer. They have like 200 RV sites, over 200. I think it may be close to three. Don't quote me on that. You have to look at the map. B.A. Stinningham Reservoir, which is the body of water the park is built on. It's a shallow lake. On average, it's about eight feet deep. So during the summer months, it's much warmer than deeper bodies of water. Therefore, fewer people want to come and swim at this state park. of trails throughout the park I actually was able to navigate one section of trail yesterday on Little Red which was nice it wasn't exactly this smooth a ride though I gotta tell you I'm gonna post a separate video for that that little short trail ride is about two miles, but it was a slow two miles. All right, so this is a day use area. There's a kayak ramp down here. Now, I don't, I, I've always been down through here part way in the motorhome yesterday. Over on the hen house unit side, they only have canoes for rent. I can see that we have canoes and kayaks here. Now 
there's a bridge that goes over to the island. You'll be able to see that in the experiential video. Man, these roads are rough. TechDot needs to do a little better job. down to the group hall. Day use area. There's only two real, really only two camping loops over here. So we're going to go through those, focus on those, so that when you're bringing your RV down here, you'll know what you're getting into. As you can see, these are all the shelter sites They're right on the water. Unfortunately, they've had to take out the fishing piers because they became unsafe and there were not enough funds in the budget to maintain them. Sunday morning, June 2nd, 19, I'm 2019, <laughs> dating myself, 2019. regularly scheduled production check this out bite my butt my new favorite rub you can buy that at wenzel lone star meat.com right there right there wenzel's lone star meat.com he's got all kinds of cool road snacks too bite my butt pork rinds yum bite my butt trashy butt snack and bite my butt pumpkin seeds so you can snack while you're going down the road Wenzel Lone Star Meat does ship in in the continental United States. If you'll ask for the Dude RV Special, 
they'll give you a little discount uh, it's going to vary based on the product but also they'll include a sticker maybe two if you ask them nice when's the lone star meat.com in this lake playground well swing set when we cruised through here yesterday there was someone someone's there was some folks about to get married they were setting up in the group pavilion over here which is what this is No cooking on the porch of the group of eggs. We're back out on the main artery that runs through the camp, through the park. gathering of firewood. They have firewood in this park for uh, donations or donation stations. Which is good because where we were two days ago they had no firewood. of the park host sites are empty. Oh. Hold on. And the rough roads are just, they're hard on my equipment. Bouncing everything loose. an abrupt change in perspective. You have no problems at all getting your big rig in here. Just don't be in a big hurry. That'd be a good sight right there. 530. There's a Corps of Engineer property not too far from here that I've been told about. I was told that they had bigger sites, and I don't I don't know how that could be possible because these sites all over here very spacious.
going to go the opposite direction on this one. I'm thinking that the number I said earlier of 200 fights was wrong because we're in the 500s. Pretty section right here. I guess that's why all the RVers are clustered. Either that or they were a family unit. brings us to the end of the RV camping loop. Back out on the main artery. We'll run up here to the nature center and close her down. Nature Center, Mark Dyes Jr. State Park. It is closed. Ha. All right, we are on the west side of the lake. We're checking out the Cherokee unit, Martin Dyes Jr. State Park. Now there. I'm not going to do a scooter run through here, but I do have a dash cam, so I'll, I'll have some footage. You're not going to be you know, taking your RV in there, but it'll be worth looking at. So stay tuned. More to come.
So we'll go to Texas Wildscapes and check this out. All right. If you want to see more about the Texas Wildscapes, you'll have to go and click on the, the experiential video because, man, we're going to wrap this one up right here. It has run way long. Hey, if you enjoyed our run through this half of Martin Dyes Jr. State Park, hey, give me one of those thumbs up. If, you've, if this is the first time you've been to Dude RV, click on that subscribe button down there. There's also a bell. You probably want to click on that too. That way you'll never miss another episode from Dude RV. If you've already subscribed, thank you. I am so deeply honored. It is my pleasure to share all that these beautiful Texas State Parks have to offer with y'all. That's why I keep doing it. You keep me going. Hey. We're going to hit 10,000 this year. <laughs> Rock on. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear?